channel and today I am doing something that I'm pretty excited about so today some friends and I are running in the Sendai half marathon now we're not actually doing like the half marathon the whole thing that's like 21 kilometers um, but today we're running in the 5k and so that's pretty exciting I'm pretty excited about that we ran it last year um, and so me and about three friends are gonna be doing it again today so it's gonna be fun uh, I mean I know there's a lot of people out there who uh, don't think that running 5k's is a fun thing to do but um, yeah I just kind of been encouraged by them to to start running <laughs> so um, yeah it's gonna be good but today I guess the premise of this video I'm just getting ready by the way so <laughs> you're gonna come with me I might put you down here um, but I guess the premise of today's video is I was watching, um, there's a guy in America, Sebastian, and he does videos, um, his channel is called Escape the Ordinary. And I think the, the kind of idea of his one is that, um, just getting out of the, like, everyday life, the ruts of everyday life and doing something really awesome. And so today I was watching his videos, but I wasn't watching them today. I've just gotten up and getting ready to run. But uh, I was watching his videos and I was kind of thinking about that whole premise of like making awesome stuff happen every day. And I was thinking about today and I was like, well, surely like in the everyday, there's like awesome stuff that happens and that we just don't realize that it's awesome because we're busy like going through our day to day lives. And so today what I thought we'd do for this video is... I reckon I haven't scripted this, I haven't planned this, I haven't like gone through the day and prepared awesome things to happen just to like rig the video, but I figured that in an everyday day, sorry if you can't hear me by the way, um, I figured that in like an everyday day, surely there's got to be at least three awesome things that happen today that otherwise I may not have noticed. So I'm going to bring you guys along on the journey today and um yeah it's gonna be fun so i'm just gonna finish getting ready then we're gonna go to the race um and we're gonna just see what kind of awesome stuff happens so let's go i'm excited <laughs> On our way up to the start of the race, so we got our like running numbers, and I was just thinking about something awesome already that I just thought of. So, woo, awesome thing number one um, was I was thinking about little known fact about Nadine is that when I was about 17 or 18, Lizzie's laughing at me. <laughs> Lizzie doesn't know the fact. Um, when I was about 17 or 18, I actually had a knee reconstruction, um, and they told me that if I didn't have surgery then I would never be able to run or jump again in my life. So, <laughs> he's pulling it. So, um, yeah, so I was thinking about that this morning and like, usually when I'm running, I'm like, oh, I hate running. <laughs> like, it's tough and that, but yeah, I was thinking this morning about just being grateful that I actually can run. So now I'm excited to run today. We'll see how I feel at the end of the race, but yeah, that's really exciting. So, ah, awesome thing number one. <laughs> Pete, what you just said, Lizzie. Yeah, at least it's not raining. Awesome thing number two of the day. Last year was raining. We're also kind of late, so we're running. <laughs> so we're currently trying to find our start group. <laughs> Things I learnt 
Don't give up when it gets hard. And if it's too hard, just take a breather for a minute and keep going. <sighs> So, my watch says I did it in, I if you can see that, 32, 32.49, but the big race clock that I just went past said that I did it in 34, so we'll see how I went. We're in line now to get our like race cards, but I think I didn't do too bad. I started off really well, but um, actually I haven't been well this week, so it got a bit tough towards the end but um I made it so that's that's the main thing right and I had fun maybe yeah no I did <laughs> free bananas um, feeling all right getting there now so yeah a little bit disappointed that I didn't do it as quickly as I wanted to but I really haven't been feeling very well this week so I finished which is a good thing so now we are on our way to church so we are I'm going in my running clothes <laughs> you're gonna get changed maybe all right all right so we're gonna, after, as if 5k run wasn't enough for today, we're gonna walk to church now, which is probably like a couple k, so. It's fun, it is five past 10 and church starts at 11, so we got plenty of time. So my face is still red, it's been like 20 minutes. So Lizzie and I just bought lunch. We have an international picnic today, but so that we don't eat our lunch before lunch, we got a snack. Post run. Post run, post run, cheese bread. <laughs> So we just finished at church and now we're on our way to an international picnic but it's just started raining so I'm not sure what's gonna happen um, but something else awesome happened at church that I met a girl who's also from Sydney in Australia which is where I'm from so that's really exciting so that's another is that three awesome things already <laughs> that's really cool but I'm excited to see what the rest of the day holds um, and what we end up doing even if there's no picnic I'm sure we'll find something fun uh, to go have lunch or something like that so yeah, we're gonna go do that now. You like that. We stopped on the way to the park and we're getting ice cream. I'm so excited. After a pretty long but uh, fun eventful day um, and I think really like today the one thing that I've noticed like discovered is that when I was like looking for awesome things that were happening when I was like had that focus um, then actually like the day was a whole lot more fun and I really looked at the whole day with a positive light um, and there's some other really cool things that happened today like I had to go and get some camera equipment from a friend tonight um, I had to go up to a train station about 20 minutes away and um, because I'd gone up there um, there was actually another friend who travelled up there with me because um, we were on our way home from church and because I'd gone up there and I was thinking about like you know making the most of the day and stuff like that I actually ended up being able to have dinner with the friend I went up there with um, to make the most of having to go up that end of town so yeah I, I'd encourage you guys um, if you want to do a day where you kind of look for the awesome stuff in the day, um, or I guess if you're a Christian, um, look for like the blessings, like the little joyful moments from God, then um, yeah, I really encourage you to do that. It was a really fun experience today. It was a really cool day. So 
yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm kind of following me around for a mildly not normal day, <laughs> considering we ran a race this morning. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Um, click the bell to turn notifications on. That'll notify you when I post a new video. Um, there's some cool stuff coming up. I'm heading over to the States too for my first ever time soon in a week and a half. Um, I'm going to be going to America. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned for all of that. Um, and until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.